Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Factory Town, where in the previous episode we were trying to get some stone bricks being reliably delivered to our townsfolk, but uh, I'm not sure if it's working. I mean, they probably have enough, but now we don't. There's no stone bricks in the system anymore because they've all gone onto these belts. In fact, between episodes, it's already just fallen apart again. I'm guessing, yeah, because we're at a stone in the storage, which I thought might happen pretty rapidly. So, yeah, that's a problem. We do have that wagon delivering them, which is that wagon that immediately takes and moves, funnily enough. But yeah, it seems like we need more people once again moving stone, though maybe we have a way of gathering stone automatically? Surely one is coming, but I don't know if we actually have it yet. Um, Doesn't seem like it. None of those things... Yeah, there we go, mine. Always various ores and minerals from nearby terrain, which presumably is what we need. That requires the research mining, and that is not even uh, one we have unlocked yet. In order to unlock it, we need railways. So, crap. So we've got to rely on the stone we actually have here. Maybe we will have some issues, ultimately, with this then. What I might do is get a belt running from here over to there with raw stone. Then we just have a bunch of workers huddled around these stone bricks here. Uh, sending them over, because this isn't going to last long enough, judging by uh, how that's all looking. We do have the manpower to throw at it now. We're getting more and more belts uh, taking over the roles of people, which is um, which is, is good for allowing us to throw a lot of people at a problem when when uh, people are the solution. So we'll, we'll see if that helps. Now, I want to do something about this system, because I realized that I did a dumb thing here with this splitter. All of the stone is ending up, ending up going through to the houses, and I'd rather have people be less happy and have some stone bricks in storage. So, we need to work something out here. Do we have any left in here? Uh, no, they're all gone. We still have raw stone, which is slowly being, um, carted away, literally. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to... I, that means we definitely need some being stored in here, so I think I'm going to rearrange how these work. So, first of all... We'll get these platforms running out to connect to there. Uh, and then we'll get rid of this. Can I just like, there we go. Uh, and you as well for the moment. Now let's work out how we're going to do the splitter. Because what I want is to actually, I think, favor the barn. Uh, it's hard to say because we have a, a thing that can split three ways. So if we could do half and half. Or we could do one third one way and one third the other, or, or two thirds the other even. For now, I think I'll just do half and half, but I'm definitely considering making it that like two thirds goes into the barn. But that's probably overkill. I don't know that we need stone bricks in that higher uh, a rate. So for now, I'll just have the splitter like that. And if we want to, we can divert more into the barn. In fact, no, we'll put it further back. That'll help with that, and then we can have it like go forward and in, or we can have it go out and like that. And we can we can choose how it goes. All right, and then we'll just uh, run the belts through, and it'll literally just work like that, I believe. We'll check it. Yep, half of it's going into the barn, and half of it's carrying on. That works for me. Uh, production rate's not great. We definitely need to increase it. So let us just grab a bunch of workers. Like eight of them. <laughs> let's let's go ham. I think that's how like roughly how many we fired before. Maybe uh maybe a few more. Gonna have them run to the barn specifically, because I would like the barn to build up its supply if that's at all possible. I could just give them an order to collect and not tell them where to go, but I worry that they'll end up going places I don't want them to if I do that, so we'll just have it like this. And yeah, it, it, it's gonna be a bit crowded. They're going to have a bit of a struggle from time to time, um, working around each other, but it'll take a, probably more than that to become too much of a too many cooks situation. It's probably just going to be that each each extra worker counts for like another 0.9 of a worker, that sort of thing, as they all try and navigate around. And is it building up? Oh, it's kinda. Nope. No, it's not. <laughs> They're trying. They really are. I can't fault them. I mean, this thing's running at 200%, so... They're always going to struggle to provide for it. And, it's, and there's a wagon literally ferrying the stone from there, so it's just taking whatever the excess is and chucking it in there. And this isn't building up, so wow. But now this will build up, because we've got half of it going that way. 
as it stands. Now the good thing is that once the barn fills, the rest will just carry on, and that way we'll have uh, we'll have a, a stronger supply. But I want to make sure that the barn fills. That's important. What are you doing? Are you okay? It's like there's too much going on in front of the building. I'm gonna go around the back. That's easier. I can actually get anywhere with that. I'm gonna. Mess about with the decorative stuff here. There we go. Putting it on the edges, it makes sense. Oh yeah, and that guy- Why are you doing that? Oh dear. Well, now it's building up in there. Hmm. So, uh, some strange logic going on at times, I've got to say. Okay, so I'm noticing we're out of wagon wheels, and we can't build any more wagons if we wanted to, so let's do something about that. That guy's got a job, he's delivering the planks over in the first place. Let's get a new guy, and we'll, we'll have it be a guy, so we can easily fire him if we change our minds. A new ferry wagon wheels. Oh, but we don't want it to go into the base, we want to go into its own dedicated uh, barn. Now, there's a barn right there, but it's full of food, which is a problem now, I no longer want that. So what I think I might do is set up another barn, like, by the food market. I just get a wagon ferrying stuff over there. That seems like an idea, though I noticed the, the wagon might struggle to get here. I don't know if they can go through trees or not. It's quite possible they can't. But yeah, we'll build a barn. Uh, over here. And yeah, just like face it out like that. Just put it next. Uh, let's leave a bit of a gap so there's some room to move stuff around in future. And, uh, yeah, then we'll just get some wagons. It's a point we can't. You, start ferrying wagon wheels, just for a minute. We only need a few. We'll just let him do that and then build the, uh, wagons. Let's just try and get a, a couple ready. There we go. Uh, let's, let's make four. Let's just have a few parked ready for uh, whenever we might need them. There we go, and then, uh, where are you? You, wagon wheel guy, stop. Just stand there. Um, did I get the right one? Yes, I did. Good, so they'll just get stocked up again, which is good. Um, so you, take the potatoes, put them in the barn. You, take the pears, put them in the barn. And you, take the wheat, put it in the barn. Uh, what do we have extra of? Pears, so you can be on pear duty as well. So this is going to be a lot of wagons moving around this for a little bit. Oh, they're stuck. They've completely borked their own pathfinding. Right, let's build up this bridge a bit more. Oh, that's too high. Nope. In the water, please. Oh, easy. They're trying to navigate. There we go. That's allowed them to work at all that. And there we go, our fleet of wagons loaded with food moving through. Yep, they're all taking ridiculously circuitous routes because they can't get to the barn unless they go all the way around there. Oops, I might uh, might just chop down a tree somewhere, maybe. <laughs> but what I can do is something I realized uh, between episodes that I messed up about this, is that I didn't need to put the these uh, conveyors like this. So I'm going to clear all this out and uh, leave some actual space for things to move here. There we go, and now they can happily just walk straight through, or roll, as the case may be. Uh, and then we'll do a similar, oh, come on, similar thing over here. That should be all the belts we need. And then we run them just straight forward and straight forward. And this will need a grabber. In fact, did I ever put a grabber in? Presumably I did, because this thing hasn't overloaded. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I want. Logistics blocks, grabber. I reckon at some point I'll just make a toolbar that is all the logistics blocks, because it's good to just have them um, on tap. You just quickly check and hit the button. Yeah, that should all be working now, and the uh, the carts can happily roll underneath. Let's even put some roads there. At some point I should make stone roads as well, because they're a thing. This is just a footpath. We should probably start doing that. How much does a stone road cost? Uh, one stone brick, two yellow coins. Well, we're absolutely fine for yellow coins. We've got 5.8 thousand of them. Um, as for bricks, uh, we're building up a decent supply. It's It's workable. Maybe not put them everywhere immediately, but we'll just have a quick look around those sort of major movement areas and plonk them down. Oh, we're not allowed them in certain spots, though. Oh, I guess footpaths are more versatile and can go on weird slopes, whereas uh, roads have to be on properly flat ground. Something to bear in mind. Can we go up here? Yeah. Shallow slopes that it's going directly up are fine. 
Family around there makes sense. A lot of activity. Um, how are we doing for bricks? We've got 27, so we're going to struggle with something like this. Yeah, that was all of them. That was all of our bricks. That was every brick. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this quite yet, but I'm I'm already here. Can we sort out this landscape, or, or have I already uh, messed things up too much? Ah, uh, there, I'm not allowed to. What if I delete that, and then there's nothing connected to the ground? Okay, maybe another one. Nope, st oh, there we go. It allowed that one. Sure, fine. I'll take it, and then uh, put back in our, whoop, our scaffold, and then we can have the road properly. There. Nice. I'm going to delete that, because why is it here? Just random bits sticking out. Yeah, there's more to be done, but those were sort of the critical ones to my mind. Ooh, they're doing good work with these trees. I'm going to try and reassign them a bit, because I don't want them clearing these so much as these. These are the, the fending articles over here. So everyone walk over here, focus on those ones, and then we're just clear in this area, and I'll be happy with that. Yeah, they're all focusing on that right now. I think I may have taken... Oh, the, the, the ones over there are, uh, are ready. Yeah, we're all just waiting on uh, blue coins right now. We'll get them soon. We'll work on them. Maybe that could be our, our goal for towards the end of this episode. How's this holding up? Our uh, fourth barn is filling with fertilizer. Uh, meanwhile, the wool has not filled. Um, there's a small amount of cloth, but uh, not enough to keep this guy happy. Oh, dear. How are we for cloth supplies? Are we okay? Uh, it's looking pretty good. It's holding together better than most. Uh, like fruit and veg, I don't think is even holding up that well. Yeah, there's gaps in the fruit and veg situation right now. That's no good. I thought this would be moving quick enough. Has it been struggling with like, uh, any of the particular food supplies? Everything looks fine, but it's sometimes hard to tell. Like, the wheat's ropey at times, and the carrots, there's some that are growing. And there's the growing berry ones. Like, it looks like this should be absolutely fine. Like, this is the quickest it can go. I mean, we could put more workers in it. Let's just stick one more in there. We can only go as fast as the conveyor belt can manage. That's something to bear in mind. But, nothing's building up, so I'm going to put another one in there. 180%. I guess you can... One thing I've, I've considered, actually, is that you can have issues with, like, death spirals in this, in, in the Factorio sense, where, with power, where happiness boosts the buildings, and the buildings boost the happiness. Meaning that if you, if you push it slightly too far, then happiness will start to drop, meaning the buildings will slow down, meaning happiness can drop more. So you've got to nip that in the bud or, or end up having to put extra resources into it later down the line. I wanted to get to the point where there's always something in storage. And it seems like... Oh, uh, no, we're not quite there. Okay, one more. 200%. I reckon that'll be enough that this thing constantly fills the belt. I suppose we can always have extra belts if we really want to. When we get to iron belts, they presumably move quicker and that'll help as well. It's still not quite filling the whole time. Huh. Oh, it might be getting to that now. Now it looks like it's getting to it. I'm seeing carrots building up to two and not getting any lower. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. 200% seems to be enough to fill this belt completely. I guess I could have just done the numbers, couldn't I? I worked out, like, well, every six seconds we produce four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine things every... Six seconds. Oh, but the grains run out. Okay, so that can happen. The grains straight up run out. I guess because we put more workers into it, it's pushing it further than it can quite go. And it harvests carrots a lot less often, which is why the carrots haven't run out, but the wheat has. Similar thing for berries, but we've also got more berries. So yeah, I think we need to plant some extra wheat then to keep this running. So... Good thing about that is it will stave off um, fertilizer overfilling the, the system again. And then we'll just plant grain here. We could plant another crop, I suppose, and that would be a huge boost to uh, production rate, I would imagine. So yeah, it's all looking uh, healthy again. Though at the moment it's, it's having to use the water and fertilizer it's got in store. 
Again, that's good though, that's good. It's probably just getting all this up to speed and then catching up with the work it's got everywhere else. Oh, we got gaps again. Come on, we're at 200% and everything's running now. What's the problem? Oh dear. I reckon it should all hold up now, but then why, there's gaps again. What's that about? Alright, I've got my eye on it. Actually, how much long? How much more can I overclock? I can bring it up to ten, which is dumb. There's no point going up to ten. That's more than the bell can take. We'll we'll try five. Two hundred and thirty percent. Let's see if we can hold that up non-stop, and then that's the best that the that our houses can get. And if that's not enough in fruit and veg, I'm gonna be a bit miffed. It's all looking better already, actually. Yeah, there's nothing low at this point. Uh, wheat is still a problem. We're not doing well enough in terms of grains because it's not enough of a focus of this, but I guess this helps. Grains take priority, which is good. Yeah, carrots are filling up now. And we want grain to have priority. I think. Yeah, now there's just no carrots getting through. We've overdone it. Okay, let's bring it back down to 200%. 200% should be enough now. If not, we've got a, a backlog of carrots to work through. We'll be fine. Uh, have these guys all finished? They have. Fantastic. Everyone just, like, park up over there. There's our wagon parking area. Right, this is now going to be a barn for... Oh, we can apply individual filters. I was just hoping that would be the case. Okay, uh, what do we want the rest of it to be? I guess uh, we could have it be planks. Yeah, let's have it be one slot for wagon wheels and the rest for planks. And we'll just apply them all individually so we can edit them all individually. Okay, and then I want uh, this guy here take the wheels to the barn. There's one grape here. I guess because I deconstructed these belts, it's ended up there now. Uh, can I get a worker on this? Hang on, I, just, I, I should just open the menu for it. There we are. Build. You take the grape. Put it in there. Thank you. Uh, thank you kindly. There's the stone bricks looking, building up nicely again. This hasn't built up, but it makes sense. Like I've got this making one in like what less than two seconds as it stands. So it's taking up at least two stone per second, and it's difficult to maintain that sort of rate. They're trying. And eventually we'll get a mine. We'll get towards there. But we need blue coins before we do that, so we've got to work out what ways we can get blue coins right now. And I think the, the answer lies in the workshop, in making some more of those that do the fancier stuff. Because I haven't explored much of what the workshop can do yet, and I know we already have uh, a ton of recipes available to us. We got, like, clothing and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Clothing is one of the things. But for that, we need cloth. Uh, which we're struggling with at the moment. And I don't want to up that production, because that means even more in the way of, um... Of fertilizer. I have looked up what you can do with fertilizer. Not much, but one of the things you can use it for is apparently a fuel. So I'm guessing that, like, when we have steam engines, we can use that? Maybe? And at that point, we could just dump all our fertilizer into the steam engines. Oh, and yeah, this is all full again. That means cloth just about to die. It's literally just happened again. Um, so yeah, maybe we need to work out steam power. What buildings do we have? Let me just double check. I think the the new stuff we have is yeah the forge. We should look into the forge and see what that is about. That's for smelting, or that's for making items and tools actually. And I noticed that pickaxes were a blue coin thing and quite a valuable one at that. So maybe we want to be gathering iron. Putting it in a forge, making some tools, and that's how we uh, we get the blue coin stuff going at a, at a brisk pace. So we've got crates as well, small storage space. I should be using these instead of barns for everything. I don't think I registered that the crate was a thing in, properly in my mind up till now, even though I keep seeing it. That Yeah, that's probably what I want to be using for like wagon wheels instead of a whole barn, but we've done it now. Oh, and in fact, uh, who's, our, who's our guy doing planks, because presumably we have a guy. Oh, yeah, there he is. Why are you taking that circuitous route? Oi, there you are. Right, take these planks. Put them in the barn. That's what we store planks from now on. Uh, and you, grape guy, send them all to the barn. 
And we've got more planks than we can store as it stands, but I want to get things out of the base where I can. And that makes sense as, as a thing to do. And yeah, we're full on wagon wheels now. Happy with that. Uh, oh, and this guy should switch his job to taking the planks out of that barn and putting them in that workshop. Why are you doing that? There we go. Yeah, just stand there, you, you twit. Don't know what he was thinking there. But now we've still got actual logs being stored in here, but we also want to move that to its own dedicated uh, barn, probably somewhere around here, and then we have it funnel in, well, belt into everywhere else. And then we can finally clear out this mess that's sort of dividing half the map in, in two. And we can get around it as it stands, unless I build a bridge over the thing. Oh, this is all wheat now. Really? Really? Jeez. Um, okay. Tone it down a bit. How is... I? Why is it flipping about so much in terms of production rates? I'm gonna keep dropping it. How's 140? Okay, now the wheat slowly... You know, I'm just gonna bring it down to speed one because that's just gone ridiculous. Just let it let it work itself out again. Jeez. Okay, and happiness is at 28. It was better before. We're, we're still missing stuff. I mean, cloth is a problem. Uh, actually, it's not. Why isn't it? It should be by now. This shouldn't be working anymore. I guess occasionally we are using fertilizer, so uh, more wool is allowed to get through from time to time. Yeah, there he goes grabbing another four, which lets the whole thing run for a good long while more. I want to see what these recipes are about. What are the ratios like? Oh, and someone's driving past. I, I just want you all to know that this is... It's 5am right now, because I record at ridiculous times of night, and someone just drove past making that noise at 5am. Uh, we don't hear those noises at 5pm. What's that about? Okay, um... Yeah, they all produce one fertilizer. You can't get away from making fertilizer, which is weird. I, I want to not be making it, but I don't have a choice. I guess there's other ways of making cloth, isn't there? Let me check what the, the other roots are. Cotton. Cotton's the thing. Do we have cotton on the map? Uh, I don't think I've seen it. And therefore, I don't think I'm allowed to make it, because I think you need some of the product to start with to plant. Oh no, there we go! There are some little bits of cotton lurking out in the wilderness over there. I think we need to just shut down the pasture and get a cotton farm going. <laughs> because this is just this is just too much. Look look at this mess. Why why has this happened? So I kinda wanna build it here, but there's stone kinda blocking this still. We definitely need to get this cleared. I need to get this sorted. Like it's just a mess. Let's let's work out a belt, maybe. Uh, this, the, this is the problem. You end up you you have a problem and you trace it back so far that you end up losing sight of the initial problem, and I'm I'm gonna end up doing that. Let's put a farm here and make some cotton with it, and we don't need much. It'll be fine, and then we'll shut down this whole wool operation. It's a nightmare right now, and uh, not have to deal with the mass amounts of fertilizer anymore and eventually we'll need fertilizer again but but not yet we definitely don't need it yet nestle over here perhaps and we'll have it bordering the water just because it saves us a bit of work it leaves us so little space to actually build the farm plots which is the frustrating thing still we can we can work with this okay build it there your job is uh well, i guess the the recipe oh yeah we can we pick what it does um, cotton. There we go. I'll have to make the plot, so let's actually get someone on that right now, because it's going to take a while for them to, to work on. So... Get a worker. Put them all the way... Where is it? I've lost it. Uh, all the way over... Uh... Oh, there it is. Here. And please, will you gather cotton and take it, I guess, to the base. Actually, we can cheat. Hold on, just stand right there. Now I've realized this is a thing. Buildings, crate, plonk. Please take the cotton to this crate. And hopefully that puts it in our, uh, in our network. If not, I can get a wagon to take them four at a time and that works out a little bit better. 
Okay, so yeah, so you're making cotton, but you can't do it right now. Uh, then we want to make a whole bunch of farm plots. Let's just start with six and see how that goes. Then farming and mining, plant, cotton. Oh, it says we don't have any. Okay, yeah, we need a wagon. Right, well, we've got some all parked up here ready. Uh, let's hang on. Let's select you and then move you over there. <laughs> Save a bit of time on your first journey. Take this cotton, put it in the base. It's fine. And then later we'll have a cotton store, and that'll work. Yeah, I've made this specifically wool right now. We'll change it in a moment. We've got to wait for the uh, wagon to get back. Oh, it's not moving. I guess it can't travel because of a lack of bridges. That makes sense. Let's put some bridges down. Uh, there we go. Wooden bridge. Just across here. And now it's allowed to move. Excellent. It'll get there eventually. It's going to take it a while. We build a road along here, perhaps. We could just do a footpath. We got loads of uh, of wood available. Just to give it an easier time of it. And he's already filled up that crate and is just now sat there with nothing to do. Did we get our first delivery? Yes, we did. Excellent. Is he on his way back? Yes. Okay, we're good. Right now, we can make a couple of the plots and get some production started. So, plant cotton, plonk, plonk, and that's all we can do right now. Uh, let's get a guy delivering fertilizer as well. Um, whenever the worker button's not around, I just my brain just locks up, and I'm like, how do I summon a worker? I'm like, you gotta hit F1, or you gotta open the menu. Pick one. Don't just sit there being a derp. Uh, yes, yeah, so take fertilizer to the farm. Water's already provided. And now we're making cotton. Now we need to output it. So let's just start it high up because that's easier. Uh, structural. I don't know why I'm in this menu this time, but I am. Plonk, plonk, plonk. And uh, yeah, it's going to take the space that this belt is currently taking. So we're going to just cut this. We're going to just shut this down. No more. We're done. Hopefully the fertilizer will run down a little bit. There we go. Oh, no, we need one more, and then I can just break this belt. Right, good. Uh, get rid of that. It doesn't need to be a thing anymore. Let's just have the belt go into the barn. You flip to being a cotton store. Uh, oh, no. There we go. And you flip to making cloth out of... Well, you've still got some wool on you, so we'll let uh, that all run through. And then we'll switch it to making cotton. I mean, I guess we could just add the other recipe, too. There, you make both now. We could even carry on with both things running, but I think we'll just let the fertilizer sit for now. We have too much of it. It's a problem. Oh, dear. In fact, what we now need to do is actually add in a new system here, because we've got the storage. We now want the storage to run back into the... Uh, the one barn that everyone's actually using. Otherwise, once they use up the stuff in this barn, then these will just be sat here full of stuff that is needed but can't be used. So... We'll finish duplicating this system, I wonder. I was hoping maybe you could do a... a select. But I don't see an option for it. Oh well. Oh, and you can put item filters on the grabbers too. Brilliant. I th This game is like... It, it just wants to give you all the options. Some some games, like factory games, deliberately put some certain challenges in, in your way to be like, no, we're not going to allow this sort of thing to be done. Um, you have to do it this way. So, like, uh, with Factorio, everything has to go through splitters when you want to do fancy fiddly stuff. And so sometimes you have to do more convoluted setups that involve a couple of splitters to make something work. Whereas this game is like, I'm just going to give you the tools. Just every single block you can do everything you want with. Like, it's all it's got all the blocks you need, and all those blocks can be configured however you need them to just make the factory work in a block. And I, I kind of like that idea. It's a different approach. I mean, I like the way Factorio does it too, where you've got to come up with fancy, more complex things. But an important thing about all these factory games is I don't want them to all be the same. I don't want all of these to be... Factorio. And that's an important thing that I think some people are, are not understanding. 
and people are criticizing like Factory Town and particularly Satisfactory for not being like Factorio in certain ways. And I'm like, I don't want them to be Factorio. I already have Factorio. I want them to be their own thing and approach automation and factory building in a different way because that means that when I'm bored of one, I can switch to another and have a new, different experience. So, I, like, I don't want people to think that because I'm saying this is good in this game, I'm saying it's bad in Factorio that it's like that. Factorio's got its its own uh, reasons for being that way and its own merits for being that way. Right, anyway, this is now working. We've got ridiculous amounts of fertilizer to last us forever and run all this stuff. And presumably by now, we can make the rest of the... Uh, the cotton plots we want to make. There we go. And then let's have these belts actually come out of here. And then we need a grabber. And now we have the cotton. And we can now probably just get rid of this particular recipe. It's no longer... There's no longer any wool available. And there we go. Cotton-based cloth production, which should go much, much better than our... Um, wool based. I should have realized sooner that I could have just switched to cotton and that would have made things so much easier. And what about this mess to deal with? I mean, at least now all our other farms are going to be absolutely fine for fertilizer for a good long while. Yeah, I should probably should have spotted it sooner. And yeah, I reckon now this is going to be producing cloth maybe quicker than these can deal with it. Actually, no, this wagon's still taking it uh, quicker than it's being made. I wonder if we should speed it up a bit. It's not building up here. It is building up here, though. Okay. Let's stick an extra worker in there. 155%. And we'll see if that's enough that this guy uh, gets a full load of cloth for once. We need more, though. We, we want to have more cloth. I think cloth is worth blue coins. Oh, no, it's, it's not, is it? But it, it, uh, yeah, it could be made into clothing which is worth blue coins. And that's the thing. Is we could be doing that. Though maybe we'll end up going for the iron tool thing instead. Because right now we're not using iron for anything else. We could stop using cloth for uh, for these. I mean, I guess using clothing to make to, to boost the happiness is is just as good. Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe we should do that instead. But that's something to think about for next episode because we are at the end for today. For once, I actually spotted the clock at the uh, at, at the right time. Again, this is running too slow now. Okay, let's try 190%. Let's see if we can keep some sort of vague balance. I mean, I guess it's okay if it builds up. But I don't want it to be non-stop wheat the whole damn time, because that's a problem. That means we're not getting the fruit and veg quotas filled anymore. Those are the sort of ratios I'm looking for. Wheat almost every other time, fruit and veg the rest of the time. That's what I need. Let's see if it can hold up that sort of thing. Oh, and these guys are done! We have done with clearing out this forest here. That is fantastic news. Now we can work on this one and, and try and make a bit of more space around here. We want these guys to stop what they're doing now. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to... Okay, we're not finishing. Hold on. Everyone, uh, I'm just going to delete you. It's easier. I'm sorry. Okay, it's not easy to delete them. Eh. Dip, dip, dip. Am I pressing the wrong button? What's going on here? I'm in, I'm in uh, delete block mode. That's why. Right. Select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. Everyone stop. Stop what you're doing. Okay, no more tree chopping. No more over there. We're moving our operation. All this can go. Now I've seen that we can finally sort this out. I want to do this now before we finish. So never mind the finishing on time thing. I spotted the clock on time. Which was a change. You know, I just deleted it all entirely. The forest is right here. We don't need um, people on this. Also, let's delete that and put like a proper bridge in because this is no use. Nope. Uh, uh, there we go. Let me build the rest. Got to kind of build them off the side. Or you end up building them just on the floor of the the water. On, on the riverbed. There we go. That's what it's called, a riverbed. I know words. Uh, okay. Then, uh, workers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all of you... Um, we should have a barn for it. We should. I should build a barn. Let's build a barn. Specifically for uh, for logs. Buildings. Where are you? Barn. Oh, we need raw stone. Ah. That's a... Uh, that's a problem. Because it's all being used instantly. 
Can I like... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't think I can easily shut this... D oh, no, I can. Switch off. There we go. And then this will build up super quick, I've got to imagine. Uh, can I can I deselect? I'm not allowed to deselect. Let me not be controlling this anymore, please. Oh, God. There we go. I forgot Zed's the, the button for that. Oh, yeah, there's still a wagon uh, taking the stuff out, but it can't deal with it quick enough without the belt to help it out. So now we can build the barn. Okay, buildings. Barn. Plonk it there. It's... Oh, it's... There's not much room. It'll get better over time. Maybe we put it over here. That uh, will put it here. Can I nestle it underneath this? Uh, no. Okay. We'll put it there, just slightly overhanging the water, I think. And then, yep, specify it to be only... Wood. And then every single one of you get chopping trees and dumping them in there. Because I'm done with this forest. It's blocking our progress. I definitely gave orders more than eight times there, so I think I may have messed some certain things up. Some people are wandering off, I think. I'm not sure. They might be sending some here, but some of them are going here. Also, a uh, wagon that's... Oh, I've just given him a job. He's supposed to be doing something else. Uh, I think he's supposed to be... Oh, well, now your job is to take logs from there to there. Is this running? Where's this all going? I guess everything's built up right now, so nothing needs to move. Uh, there we go, one of the free wagons. You, your job is to move all this wood to that, uh, that barn now. And maybe some other stuff needs doing, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. There's a little bit of a mess of just workers not doing anything around here, but I'll, I'll fix it some other time, it's fine. We do have to finish the episode at some point. Uh, oh, and now, let's get this running again. It's gonna run through all our stone, but it'll maybe take a minute, I don't know. There's not many things we need stone for, it's probably fine. Uh, okay. We're looking pretty good. So a lot of this over here is shut down now, but now we have a proper supply of uh, cloth that isn't just giving us rapid, uh, a rapidly out of control growing amount of fertilizer clogging up everything. So that's pretty good. Maybe next episode we'll try and get some clothing being made. That seems like that might actually be the best way of going about it now I think about it. And if that doesn't work, then we can do some iron tools instead. Either way, we should be getting blue coins and then we can do some fancy research and start to get like mines. We have renewable stone because we're... This, uh, this non-renewable stone's disappearing real quick. But anyway, that is all we have time for today. So I should say goodbye. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.